best restaurant I've been to this whole year. Today's Halloween, we have been passing out candy and we actually have reservations tonight at this restaurant called Rosemary, which is one of the hardest places to book in Chicago right now. We probably made the reservations like two or three months ago and it's tonight, which is Halloween. Funny thing is I actually ran like a poll on Instagram that was just like, should we dress up? Cause it's, it's Halloween and everyone was like, yes, including the restaurant cause I tagged them. But then I realized I was like, it's not even that I care about them taking me seriously, it's that I wouldn't be able to take myself seriously if I were dressed up. You know, if I were eating something more casual, maybe like a burger, maybe I'd dress up, but it's fine. So we're just gonna look good. The chef, Juan Top Chef, and he used to work at Spiaggia, which is a Michelin starred restaurant that actually closed down last year. So I have really high expectations and I've heard a couple recommendations. Apparently the pasta is amazing. So we'll see if it lives up to the hype. I'm very curious. Um, this place has been on my like watch list for a couple months. So yeah. wrapped up at Rosemary and what did you think Andrew? Uh, overall I think that was probably the best restaurant I've been to this whole year. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. So how would you rate it out of 10? Like a 9.3 out of 10. Ooh, okay. Yeah. And we said our favorite dishes. I agree with you on the lamb ragu. I thought the pork rib was really good. My number two was the stracciatella. Oh, your like number two was that one? Yeah. Cheese appetizer with like mustarda and like some sort of like 
more red, which is like a little bit sweet and really puffy. Mm -hmm. Service was really good. They still like, you know, some small things to like improve on. One of the pastas, the rigatoni that we got was like a little undercooked. Yeah, it was also a little bit too salty, but it was fine. The flavor was still really good though. I, yeah. I still enjoyed it. Yeah. What about your thoughts? What other thoughts do you have? The zucchini fritters were really good. Yeah, I thought the uh, zucchini fritters were a little average, maybe? Uh, yeah. They're actually, I think, a little, a little too greasy, in my opinion. You know, you know, that's like a really small thing. I still think they were like, you know, it was like really good. Really, yeah. Really, like, well done. I really um, like the sauce that came with it. Yeah, the sauce that came with it was good. One thing that's great, though, is like, the meal was about 200 bucks all in all, and we have like a ton of leftovers. So yeah. I feel like that makes it like really good value too. It's like not, it's not too overpriced. If it wasn't as like popular, I would 100% recommend it as like a go-to place. Yeah, I guess right now it's not, it's just not very accessible on a short notice. You definitely have to plan well in advance. To, but the bar your... is first come first serve apparently, so. Yeah. All right, well, any last thoughts? Nope, that's, that's it.